Hello, this is Joe Pryor with virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. I'd like to address uh, the Oklahoma City homeowners in financial distress that have received a court notice uh, in the mail uh, that is saying that the lender is starting the foreclosure proceedings. This is what's called the notice of less pendants, L-E-S and then P-E-N-D-E-N-S. Oklahoma is one of the many judicial states in the United States where what a lender has to do is they have to petition a judge in court to say that, yes, we have the right to foreclose. Typically, this happens at the six-month mark. And I send letters. I try to make phone calls to people that are in this situation because it's, it's serious business at that point. I mean, you're six months behind. You've had interest in penalties. There's now about $7,000 worth of attorney's fees. And the chances of you being able to come up with all that money, because you've got to come up with all of it, uh, and go to court and say, here I am, I'm going to be made whole, is pretty slim. Uh, it really doesn't happen. So does that mean that you shouldn't come to court, uh, that you should just ignore the notice? Now, number one, we hope that you call us. We hope that you, at this point, know that uh, we got to find a workout for you. Probably a short sale, but maybe a loan modification. There's rumblings right now in the Obama administration of trying to approve that program. And so it is a situation where what we want to do is try to keep you out of this. But we want to give you a couple of reasons why maybe you need to go to that court date. Uh, a lot of people just ignore it and say, oh, well, it's a fait accompli. But not always. Number one, let's say, for instance, that uh, <clears throat> there were irregularities in your mortgage. Now, you just can't go to court and say there's irregularities in my mortgage, therefore stop the foreclosure proceedings. You probably needed to have a forensic audit done, which would show either minor and or major violations that were done in, in the process of getting the loan, violations of RESPA, whatever it happens to be. Uh, and then second of all, you probably need an attorney, really, at, at that point to plead your case and say, look, we're going back to the lender uh, in due course in court uh, to make this person whole because they've been wrong. That's one way, but I'll give you a second way. We had a client, uh, and this is one of our very difficult short sales. Normally they don't take a year to close, this one has. It's a half a short sale. You can go to my site, avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com, read up on half a. It's a really good conventional program that you can get in uh, that really gives a lot of incentives to the lender to, to release you, and that was the situation they're in. The problem was the house was in disrepair, uh, an appraiser came out and gave a very high value. Uh, in fact, it took us nine months and four appraisals by that same person to bring it down from 220 to 160,000. Just it was a very difficult thing, and we haven't given up on it. It's about to close. But they actually went to court at one point and with a contract in hand, uh, with half a papers in hand from the lender showing that they were in the program. And the judge basically said, I suspend this. Now, the good news about that, it, it gives us about three more months in order to get the short sale done. And sometimes that's the margin that we need to keep you out of that sheriff sale because that's the point of no return. So what I'm saying is if you get that letter, don't sit on your hands. Don't ignore the letter. The court date's going to come up pretty quick. Consult with us because even if they get a right to foreclose, it may take four to six months in most cases for the foreclosure to finally go through with what we call the confirmation of sheriff sale. We still have the time in which we can help you do a short sale or avoid that share of sale. Now, again, I'm not here to give you legal advice. I do want you to call me so I can talk to you about your options, one of which may be referring you to someone who can do a forensic audit or an attorney. Uh, I can't do that, but at that, mo at that moment, at that point, at the very least, what you're talking to is someone that does these all the time, does not charge any upfront fees, and can get you in contact maybe with some people that can help. So this is what we want to do. If you receive that notice of less pendants, call us, email us, go to my avoidforeclosureoklahoma website, read up on it, contact us through there. My phone number is on there. I really want to help you in this process, and I don't want you to give up because foreclosure should not be an option. This is Joe Pryor with the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.